What's good? What's good? I said, hey, what's going on, folks? It's your boy, Duck. <laughs> it's your boy, Ross. And who do we have here? We have a special guest. Introduce First yourself, time on the podcast, man. Oh, she brushing her hair with it. She too real. Right. Hey, y'all. I'm Ashlo, a.k.a. Ashlo. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting on the AKA. Yeah, I thought it would be a fire one too. Yeah, I, I thought she was gonna lead into something else I, on that. I don't know if I'm still doing that right now. I'm trying to find myself. I'm trying so, to find yourself. Yeah, I'm trying to find myself. I'm trying to find That's good, man. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Has people uh have uh guys lately been finding you at the supermarket lately? Hmm? 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 No. <laughs> no. You no. went there. What? Mm-hmm. I yeah, I did. You went there. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go tomorrow with my mom. We're going oh, to play it safe. <laughs> that don't mean nothing nowadays. That don't, don't mean nothing. Hey, I know you work <laughs> with your mom, but I'm trying to see if I can get that number. Number. Oh my god. And, that and your mom could be right there watching. You feel me? <laughs> that happened to me in high school. I'll like take I both of y'all numbers for real. Mm-hmm. That's how niggas are, right, bro. Sorry. They really are. <laughs> But hey, man, we got an interesting podcast for you guys, man. We got Ashlo in the building, so that way, mm-hmm. you know, she can chime in on some of these wonderful, uh, yet disturbing and some interesting topics. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah. This is episode 21. You feel me? Okay. So, 21, 21. 21. 21. 21. All right. All right. So, all right. Um, about to get into this mug. How, how's everybody mental health been? How's, how's that quarantine life uh, cool. making you guys feel? Uh, it's been good on my end. I, I can't complain, bro. I'm just out here creating, living life the best way I can. And, uh, that's, that's really it, man. I'm just yeah, taking it life. one day at a time, man. Look, as far as for me, is this a safe space? Can I be like, just honest? Oh my God, God. Crazy. Jesus Christ. Go crazy. <laughs> I'm going through it. Like when quarantine first started, I was good and life was good and I was just positive. But I think when things just happen that catch you off guard in life, like, you know, I suffered a loss in my family. Uh, my grandfather. Sorry to hear about that. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Um, and just dealing with that, like dealing with him getting sick in the midst of still working and then the pandemic, it just took a toll on me emotionally. And I think, I think this week, I've just been going through the motions. Like today has been a great day for me. Okay. I think okay. I cried once, but yesterday I cried like twice. It's still gonna hit you. It's like fresh. Yeah, but I be crying about like random stuff. Like oh, okay. I'll be on Instagram. I just been emotional. I'm just gonna say I just been emotional. <laughs> Look at you, emotional. But it's nah, a safe I get space. it. It's all good. Yeah, though. it's a safe space. You can go crazy. I mean, that's what we're here for. But I mean, you have those moments. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, mm-hmm. Uh, a lot is going on, and this is kind of something new for everybody as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I know people's emotions are like kind of like all over the place and out of whack. And our way of living is not, this is not familiar to us right now for a lot of people. You yeah. Know, I'm, I'm cool as far as being able to be at the crib or, you know, not being around too many people. Mm-hmm. But uh, for some people, that's like driving them crazy. So, yeah, um, this is true. Yeah, hopefully people can, you know, fight through. And, you know, I don't know how much longer we have this going on. I mean, I know they keep trying to open up the city, close the city, open the city, close the city. But uh, hopefully they find a way to, you know, keep those numbers down. I'm not even knowing how they finding out all these new cases because it's not like people just run into the <laughs> uh, the clinic to get checked. I don't know. Because every yeah, day they're like, oh. Good as mine. 5,000 more people got the... I'm like, God, damn. Your guess is as from? good as mine. So I have no idea. I I'm sure so. maybe maybe if some people, you know, felt like they had the symptoms, they could probably get tested as a precautionary situation. Yeah. If you go to the hospital now, you probably get tested or whatever just, just to see. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure that's how some of the reports come back in. But boy, as it comes to like as it pertains to like just how they're finding out these these numbers i guess as good as mine i know they do they are doing uh 
vaccines in the in the city or like they're they're giving out well not vaccines they're doing testing where you can go to certain i believe yeah, it was certain high schools where you can spot. you can you can see if you have it or not or whatnot so i'm sure that's that's also helping as well so but hopefully every yeah. everybody out there is safe you know and if you that's are like i ain't getting tested i ain't getting no, <laughs> no, no, it ain't the, it ain't no vaccine I don't have a problem with getting tested if I feel like I have symptoms or even, you know, if I didn't, I know they're doing like the antibiotic, antibiotics or antibiotics. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But <laughs> mm-hmm. as far as the vaccine, like there's just things dealing with COVID-19 that I'm just a little wary about. Like, how the fuck? Oh, can I curse? I'm so yeah, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> this is a safe zone. But I don't know if you guys were like PG-13. Nah, go ahead. You got it. So they get ratchet in here. What? How the fuck, um, Bill Gates? Like, I just don't understand him being related to this at all and wanting to create vaccines. Like, that just, I don't trust taking medical advice for someone that don't have a medical background. Like, you're a tech guy. You don't, you don't have no degrees in the medical field. And I understand he have his foundation, but. Oh, true. I was reading some stuff about he was doing a little something, something in um, Africa that he wasn't really supposed to be doing. So that's neither here nor there, but I just... Oh, tea I, there. Huh? Vaccines, I'm a little like, mm, I don't know. I don't trust taking information from people. That yeah, people. I heard about that, like little snippets of it. I don't know. Um, he, he seemed real like on it or adamant about trying to help save the environment. So I don't, I don't I know... Like, it's going to be money for him at the end of the day. Like, I feel like some kind of way, this just comes back to, to money. He's one of the richest men in the world. Yeah. And mm-hmm. I don't think he's really just doing this because, oh, I'm trying to save humanity. Like, if this is the case, how come you was talking about this pandemic like five years ago? You, you brought this up like five years ago. So if you was really trying to, you know, save the human race or whatever you're trying to preach, you would have been more adamant about it than now. So, I don't know, y'all. It's I interesting. Know. I don't know, because I feel like I've heard him kind of, like, keep the environment talk up for a while, but I don't know. I, I can't really say because I haven't mm-hmm. paid attention to it. I've always looked at him as somebody being innovative. Um, mm-hmm. But you're right. As far as medical, I, I didn't wouldn't really go to him, like, for advice. But, again, I don't know what. What he knows. Yeah, like, what's been going what on. It, it's, what information he has yeah, yeah it's it's just this i got a lot we of can questions. all agree when you in that tax bracket there's a lot of information oh yeah <laughs> they have it's that. a different level of <laughs> yeah a different level of of knowledge not because of oh we're not smart as them it's just they know a lot more stuff because they're in a lot more pots so yeah. they can they can connect with a lot different people because Bill fucking Gates, so yeah. it's okay. easy Let's for you to doing connect. There, okay, yeah, she, it's easy. <laughs> she easy had her pimples in our video. Me, they gonna be like, oh, we don't like her ass. We gonna give her. Yeah, look, look, that ain't me. Hey, look, you see my name? I'm cool. That VFP. I'm, I'm, I'm straight snitching, bro. I'm pulling six nine. Out. See, I told her, I told her not to be talking about this before we. <laughs> hey. I told, I told her not to be talking about this, man. I told her, man, don't come for me. Don't come hey, for me and Blondie. This, this we ain't doing that. You're the snitching, man. You're yeah. the snitch. You, you probably make it. <laughs> cool. <laughs> How do you feel about that, Ash? I wanted to get a, a woman's perspective. How do I feel about what? That whole six nine, him coming back, basically like, look, I snitched on them niggas. I don't give a <laughs> fuck. It's Honestly, what it is. I, I said that would happen months ago. I knew he would come back and still have a, a thriving career because one, the generation like his his target audience is pretty much like young kids. The most mm-hmm. mentioned is like the OGs, which is now like, I'll say 50 or I'll be like 40 plus. 40 plus really cared about, you know, no snitching and sticking to the G code. Um, but with this new generation, they don't give a fuck. Like at the end of the day, they just care more about entertainment. And with mine, he is an entertainer. Like he do things just to entertain people. And then particularly with his case, 
for people that actually paid attention, them people, like, the things that they did to him, they tried to kill him, they fucked his baby mm-hmm. mama, they uh, kidnapped him, like, they did a lot of things. Mm-hmm. So the baby good. mama, bro. I she from the streets, too. That. At the end of the day, I ain't, I ain't mad. I don't know what he did because mm-hmm. he's not going to kidnap me, fuck my baby mama, try to uh, run up on my parents or run up on my mom. Like, got me mm-hmm. high stuff and then feel like I'm not going to, I'm going to still be down. Like, nah. And But I do understand, like, some people are like, well, 6 9 put himself in that situation. Like, he was hanging around these mm-hmm. people. But at the same time, it's like they were enabling him. So it's kind of like, in a sense, I don't want to say tit for tat, but they were mm-hmm. like enabling his nonsense. And then mm-hmm. back Doe tried to, you know, get some ransom off of him or, you know, just mm-hmm. run the money up on him. And I feel yeah. like, I feel like at the end of the day, both sides lost. Like, six mm-hmm. months off because all this shit happened to him and it didn't have to happen to him. And mm-hmm. then Prey Nine lost because them niggas in jail now. So it's like, or maybe six nine actually won because now he's out and he's still about to have a popping career. Like think he about lost. it. He lost. No, but look, no, no. Nah. He may have lost to the black people, but think about it. He got a billboard in the middle of Times Square, like the middle of New York, where people mm-hmm. told him like once he got out of jail, he wouldn't be able to like be seen and he was gonna be murked the first day he got out. He wouldn't be able, you know, step out of jail. But this man got out of jail, put out a song. Got on Instagram Live, talked his shit, and he's still able to walk around. So I well, think he's like, he's walking carefully around, and that's yeah. the, that's where I feel like he lost because when it's street shit, a lot of niggas don't you see them forty year olds still alive, and so yeah. a lot of people on his head. And the reason why I say I agree that both parties lost because the other homies, like the people that was enabling him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They tried to use him as bait, get money off of him because he was a fresh face and they was using him. You know what I'm saying? And you're right. He could have not gotten that situation. A lot of people was really trying to give him a heads up. Like, I remember him doing a Breakfast Club interview. Yeah. I remember uh, Fat Joe kind of sending him out a message. And people was really, like, trying yeah. to tell him, like, bro, you, you you got a fan base, bro. You don't necessarily yeah. have to be saying Trey Way, claiming that you sending hits on niggas. Like, it's just... Even if you're doing the hit or not, you're the face of it. So it's like, control this shit, take control, switch it up, you'll be straight. He, nah, 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 I know what the fuck I'm doing. Da, da, da. And it's just like, now, again, they lost, because now niggas are in jail for him snitching. But he mm-hmm. lost because now people trying to honor the street code. Now it's like, people already found the first location he was at and they had mm-hmm. to move from that location now to somewhere else. And it's like, now it's like, you got to live with that. Like, I don't want to live with a target on my back that I can't yeah. just freely go do what the hell I want to do. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And when to I expound feel like on it. that, somebody just posted a video and they was like, don't go for 6 9 go for his family. Find out where his family live. Find yeah, out where his, like, boys is talking like that. Like, I seen a video like you ain't gotta go for six nine, just go for his family. And Find that's out where his baby moms you know what I'm saying? Like boys and their justification was he took away family, so take his away. Oh, and that's the same no. thing that happened with uh the Nipsey situation when um mm-hmm. that Eric dude oh, yeah. went to jail and they went and found his family. And I was like, bro, that sucks because people that had nothing to do, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like you got a crazy cousin that just go do some dumb shit and then now niggas is coming to kill you. Just because of what mm-hmm. he like that, you know what I'm saying? That ain't right. But mm-hmm. you know, people try to iron the street code, and that's why I feel like he lost in that that manner. Because like now, you you got a daughter, and you got a you know family, bro. You don't want to be, and that's the a reason why I watch how I move. Because I may have moved a certain way when I was younger because I didn't have kids or you know I wasn't too knowledgeable of the ties I had. But now when you grow up and you realize like, damn, you really got people that are targets. You know what I'm saying? Your circle is a target when you a target. Mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? If I'm riding in the car with the wrong person, they not finna shoot specifically for a spot. They gonna shoot up the whole damn car. Whoever in it, mm-hmm. they getting it. You know what I'm saying? So I just hope that nothing happens again. I hope people can, yeah. you know, I hope I hope he can stop trolling and people can leave him alone. I hope it just comes together and clash at the same time. Like stop trolling, we'll leave we'll let you live and just everybody just yeah. Get the get the hell over it. Let him do what he's doing and just 
let it go. But if he keep trolling and keep pissing people off, niggas going to keep looking until he get that official release day and, you know, he's going to have to be paying for security hella crazy. Again. Yeah, pretty much. Like, that, that whole situation to me is just one of those things where it's like, yo, at the end of the day, he did what he did. We, I understand it. If I was in that situation, of course, right now, I wouldn't be. I, oh, yeah. He did it. He <laughs> did it. He did it. He did it. I don't even know you, but you look like you did. You <laughs> right? know what I'm saying? Like, Wait, he got black forces. Born. He definitely yeah. did it. <laughs> he definitely was he there did. when I ordered to hit on Chief. He, he was there. I know that. I told him to give me the gun. <laughs> look, I ain't, I ain't giving out extra information, but I am. If you fucking with me, I'm going to fucking Yeah, nah, yeah. Oh, you guilty oh. by association. I ain't going to do all that. But uh, oh, that nigga he fucked my baby mama. Oh yeah, he ordered the hit. That's crazy. But that's the thing. A lot of people that he he told them they weren't even a part of shit. <laughs> he was he he let that it know. That nigga went in. Just he hey, went hey, in. Hey, hey. <laughs> he <laughs> went to every single like you know what I'm saying. Anybody that was associated with them. He was like, nah, bro. I saw him moving some work one day in the whip. I was like, damn, that's crazy. So. Okay, that's overboard. If he did all that, that's overboard. But you know what? Oh, Just right. to add this before we get off of there, the crazy thing mm-hmm. too, like when this pandemic is over, how how hard is it for him to get a show? Because now you know where his location is, and that's that much higher of a target when you have to do a show somewhere. Oh, I'm gonna be in Houston at, you know, what I'm saying, uh, House of Blues or whatever. And it's just perhaps like, mm-hmm. that's not happening. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No. I feel mm-hmm. like because y'all know it shows security, like you're not getting in. Unless if you know somebody, you're not getting in with no But think in. about think about the club owners and stuff like that. That's like LinkedIn. You may not get, you know, after parties, but actually getting booked at a, a real life venue like House of Blues or Revention Center or something like that where everyone people actually have to go through metal detectors and get scanned. Mm-hmm. I think you'll be able to do that. Now at clubs. I don't know about the after party, but I'm getting shut down. Going on a legit tour, I really feel like he'll be able to do that. But I do think he will run into issues like I don't want to name drop, but you know the people that be like, "Oh, you got to check in when you come to certain cities." Yeah, I feel like he he'll run into issues when he come to that. But if he get in and get out, like do his show, get in, get out, I feel like he'll be good. That's a hard way to live, man. I, you know, yeah. shout, shout out to him, but you know, it's yeah, it's a hard way to live, like to have to constantly be on your toes twenty four seven. I mean, even for celebrities, you know, celebrities can't even bad enough as it is. You can't even go to the store to pick up no bread. You know what I'm saying? On top of that, True. you got you a celebrity and there's people <laughs> in the streets looking for you. It's yeah, like, damn. Like, what can I do? You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, yeah. But enough of that. Ross got some pretty dope. Uh, Topics lined up for for us today. Um, pretty interesting one, interesting ones at that. All right. Well, since we're talking about some tomfoolery right now, let's get on this boozy, boozy situation. Boosie. Hey, boozy. Yeah. So apparently, he had uh, Put it on recently revealed <laughs> that that's, that's that will be a a classic line. I will remember until oh, yeah. the end of time. During the quarantine. Niggas gonna be 90 times. years old. So I remember when Boosie said, <laughs> Say it. Put your, put your pussy on the line. line. For a thousand. I'll give you a thousand dollars. That is. Oh my God. Did y'all see what he, him and Michael Blackson was talking about? Mm-mm. When he was telling Michael Blackson, I can get a B to do more nastier stuff than you can do. I'm about to play a B $10,000 to fuck a horse. Y'all ain't see that? Mm. Oh, Instagram. Look, him and Michael Blackson was going back and forth, and he just was pretty much saying that he about to have a female come over and have sex with a horse for like ten thousand dollars. And know, Michael Jackson was like, "Nigga, I'm not trying to get deported." That's I'll be funny. honest with you, Michael Jackson. I can Michael see Jackson. Michael Blackson can, smart on that one. I can see somebody actually doing that for ten k. No cap. No cap. I can see someone doing that, but I don't, kinda, I don't know nobody, and I don't want to know nobody. That, I don't want to know nobody. But it kind of goes into just how he, you know, he moves with his money and women. So apparently, uh, apparently, uh, I want to say his son was like twelve or thirteen, and he paid someone to have 
oral sex with his son. Yeah. A real thing. He need to go to jail. <laughs> she ain't waste no time. So, he need to go to so, jail. First off. Throw away the key. Throw away the key. So. <laughs> it ain't even got to be no throw away the key. But he needs to go to jail and get therapy because I feel like I know at the end of the day, everybody was raised different. But yeah. This is an adolescent, and you getting a grown ass woman, and whoever performed the oral sex, that hoe needs to go to jail too. Yeah, and his mama needs to beat that hoe ass because what your grown ass doing sucking a little boy penis? That's crazy. Yeah, like I don't think we talking about the right thing. Thank you for bringing that up. Who is the the lady that did it? Like that's crazy, the fact bro. That she was oh, okay so with. Cool. And that little boy need to get some counseling. Like that. Mm 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 mm. That's crazy. So, like, Throw away the key on oh. everybody except the, the son. Except the everybody. son. He's he an He don't know no better. That's crazy. I can't imagine just coming home from just a hard day at band practice. Oh, I'm tired. Hey, son, I got to show you something. All right, what's going on, Dad? Oh, your son. Sit down. Who is this? Oh, don't worry about this. You're your manhood. Like, yeah. Don't worry about it. I, I noticed you've been, oh, you know what I'm saying, three. closing the door at certain times of night, man. I got you. Play with you. Dad, what you talking about? Talking about that. I'm just I'm to be a Just sit here. Back, chill. Like, Relax. He huh? got a lot of, Boosie, and I, I love Boosie. I love Blue. I don't know how I feel about him right now. But he have daughters, too. So I don't understand, like... Yeah, it's a double standard. He he not finna think like that towards the women, but he is gonna go crazy for the boys. Yeah, now nah, um, this is one of them situations where Boosie been in the news a lot. You know, he been in the in the social medias a lot mm-hmm. for a lot of controversy, back to back to back to back. And mm-hmm. um, you know, now it look like people are really trying to gun for him. And you know, now they saying CPS could in, uh, potentially come into the situation. And I mean, yeah, put yourself I don't know out why there. He Putting himself out there. That yeah, no, you know you got a lot of haters that's just watching you just to watch you. And if that's how you rocking with your kid, you know, all I can do is pray for you and keep moving. Yeah. That's that's nothing that I'm going to do in my house. And nah, that's, <laughs> arguing about it online is not what I'm going to do either. Yeah. Because you got people that, oh, oh it's, it's the, you got people that saying it's okay. You got people that saying it's not okay, of course. Just, the people that saying it's okay, that's <laughs> That's wild. Oh no, it's it's some I've seen some that's, dudes like man, hey, that's how it is, man. Oh. Especially out here in Louisiana. But if the roles were reversed and it was a twelve year old girl and a grown ass man. It's there's a there's a double standard though. Yeah, it's right? always it gonna is. be a double standard it when is. it comes to you to know that adolescent actually. when it comes to adolescent just period. Like, men. This not even be a double standard. Boys. Okay, now look, this this is where we get real because you know I didn't have crushes on teachers. You know what I'm saying? I I one of my teacher. I have. No, nah, I had a Chris. You were just being fast. That's see, see what I'm saying? Wrong. See, no. see, that's that double standard because we. That's double standard, like fast is fast. No we was young and ready. I was, I got a lot. Of, Ross, didn't you have a crush on a teacher? That's innocent. Yeah. All right, damn. I you never, you, you never had a crush on a teacher. Freddy. Dead ass. I've never had a. I've never had any interest. I don't even like. Now that I'm grown, I don't even like guys older than like five years older than me. Like I've never. You say you ain't had like that young hip teacher, like that gym teacher or whatever. None. Nobody. <laughs> no, I mean I've <laughs> had young teachers, but I never had a crush on them. Like I've always had crushes and like people in my age group. I've never been attracted to someone grown or way older than me. I've yeah. always been like. I know you're capping. Celebrity. You have a celebrity crush. When I was when I was a teenager, my crush was Bow Wow. I've never he older, like, he, he, how old is Bow Wow? Like he does something. We right? in, me, yeah. And I'm damn near 30. He's like There you are. I forgot about that. No, he was born in eighty seven and I was born in ninety one. Okay. That's like the threshold. Nothing higher. Yeah, I got a five year. No okay, one older than five years. I'm sure I can find somebody. I know I can. But it's cool. But you know what? That just <laughs> that just goes to show you how the boys think. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. I definitely had a crush. And then my teacher would have been like, hey, you want to earn some extra credit for that low English? And I would have earned that shit and wouldn't have said nothing. <laughs> Keep it to yourself. I know some people, shit, I'm not going to put no names out there, but yeah, boys are yeah, doing some 
Yeah, boys was doing some wild stuff at the ridge, bro. <laughs> with, with some teachers. Ain't gonna call nobody, you know? No, we ain't gonna call nobody. I've heard the stories too. Mm-hmm. Oh, like another, another I know the people. Native. That's that's why I was like, yo, but it was one of those things, you know what I'm saying? You see that uh it's it's actually more frequent now where teachers be having sex with the students and then it gets out because the students say something, because of course True. the student go on. Oh man, you know what I'm saying? Miss Miss England gave me the best top, you know what I'm saying? Say and Ingram, you, bro. Her name. you said what? Nothing. But that's crazy, <laughs> bro. Like <laughs> that's that's just what it is. But that's how you yeah, know. I'm not but, saying it's right. Yeah, no, that's, no, no. That, but that's, that's how we would like. If my teacher, bro, like one of the teachers that I really had a crush on was really on that shit, I it wasn't, I wouldn't have thought twice. Like it would just been a. Just Give and I go. Wish, oh, I wish my child would. I would but that's do you crush. think he would tell you? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's a that's the last thing a I'm young not black them. kid gonna do is tell their black mama. <laughs> you the yeah. last person on the list. I, I already know when when I become a parent, I'm gonna be the blackest of the blackest of the blackest mama. I'm gonna if they do the whole no. oh, that'll make dollars. I can't wait to say you got some McDonald's money. Oh, you childish! Yeah, I, nah, I kind of like. No I, I like doing no that too. I like playing nah, with my kids yeah. like that. <laughs> don't do that, man. Don't don't set them up for failure like that. You got some McDonald's money. One day they're gonna hit you with the actual I do. <laughs> oh, <laughs> they know ooh, that's your like, ass. You know what? They probably will because I do plan to do financial, like teach my kids mm-hmm. financial. Um, okay. So- when they're that's you know, good, that's smart. Up. So, real smart. Are gonna hit me with the actually, I do. <laughs> nah, my actually, daughter, she, I do. She, she come out the room like that. Can I have $20? Like, she don't ask for a dollar. I'm like, damn, what happened to the ones and fives and 50 cents? And man, y'all living lavish over there. So, you want $20? Like, they see all the new tech that you be getting. They be like, shit, she don't understand got the what's money? going on. There's no such thing as them understanding what the hell is going on. Or they, what that you even. think you think they don't. Mm-hmm. No, they, oh, won't. <laughs> so they won't. Look, I'm gonna ask dad for 20. You ask him for five. That way, <laughs> it don't I can like see my kids definitely gonna be on some shit like that. I can see it now, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> oh man, but nah, oh, um, man. yeah, nah, that whole... but that that both situation is, is I don't agree with it. And yeah, that's that's not going down in my house. Yeah, um, that I that's just one of those things where it's like. Nah, this you crossing the line there. That's a little bit too young for a child to even be involved with a woman like that. And you know, you know, it's one of those things where shit, kids are growing hella fast as it is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're being exposed to so much so quickly. So the fact that you, you know, hey, I'm I'm not in charge of anybody's parenting, you do what you do. I just no, I wouldn't, and I don't agree with it. And of course, there's gonna be backlash. Like, come on, like, so boys, is definitely not. Oh my bad, I didn't mean to cut you off. But something I nah, just thought with dealing with Boosie, why I think he also needs to go to therapy because I, be- if I'm not mistaken, I believe he lost lost his virginity when he was ten years old, either ten or twelve. Yeah, it was young. So in his mind, he may feel like that's, that's the a- thing. Mm. So, when in reality, no, 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 uh, maybe Ayana needs to pay a visit to him because it may just think mentally that some trauma. I mean, that, that that's true too, though. Like, he people do have a, a way of moving <clears throat> because of what was done back in the day. You know, we thought a lot of things were okay, but um, you know, clearly. We see nowadays is not, you know, so a lot of people have mental problems and we don't want to talk about it because, man, I ain't crazy, you know, but <coughs> yeah. you need to go talk to somebody. Therapy is not for crazy people. It's for people that just want to I go to therapy. Up. Are you still? Are you therapy is nice, man. It helps. Yeah. It definitely I mean, helps. Just being so, able to get some stuff off the chest. <laughs> But now we about to get into the nitty gritty, man. So, oh, the nitty, the nitty, the nitty, the nitty of the gritty. So, hey. this is perfect that you are here, Ashley, because I would like to uh, get a woman's perspective on this. So, I don't know if you saw this. This was posted on the shade room no. uh, a couple, 
a couple of days ago. Yeah, go ahead and this, run it. Uh, this YouTuber named Desire, not Desire, Desiree uh, Mitchell, she posted on Twitter, and it got screenshotted on Instagram, women should be financially taken care of in a relationship. Your woman shouldn't have to worry about paying a damn thing. If you cannot afford to take care of a woman completely, don't date or pursue a woman until you can. The woman is the prize. Pay for it, in all caps. And boy, it was... Go ahead, it, 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 it was a lot of back and forth. People, you know, agreeing with her. People disagreeing with her. I want to get your take on it before we, us men, Oh, you know we're about to go dive. in, so we're trying to let you. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. My take on it. All right. Because I, I had an ex, right? I was dating Ooh, this guy. Story time. I like this with my partner. Story right time. And All I got is water. So <laughs> I, I got know. nothing. Oh, okay. I need some popcorn. I had an ex years ago, and mm-hmm. he would, he's the type that he do not let his girlfriend or whoever pay for anything. Okay. Like, he, That's cool. I'm going to date like, no. And then it was a time where his bag wasn't right. And I was like, oh, we can go do, do this. I don't mind. You know, you always paying for dates. I don't mind. Like, I know you care about me. Stop, <laughs> stop, stop. Where you at? I'm, I'm standing up for this one. Thank you. Thank you. I know. I know. I'm a prize possession. But um, he was like, no. He was like, we just gonna stay at the house. Like, I ain't got the money. We not. And that kind of made me like, that irritated me because mm. I appreciated, you know, him always paying for stuff, but it's to the point to where we can't even go out and have fun or do something I want right, to do. Yeah. Like, to, me, to me, that became like an ego situation. Like, I don't want to say too much of a manly man, but I found an issue with that because I feel like at the end of the day, if you pay for stuff 99% of the time and it's 1%, you can't handle it. Why not let me catch it? Like, yes. I know you care about me. Like, I don't see what you from the head, but he was like, nah. So he went to stay at the house and play 2K, and I'm just sitting there, like, ah, okay. up about it. So <laughs> back to. He had something to do. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> If we ain't going out, we best believe we're on the oh, game. We hopping on we'll the be, game. We'll be well content. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so no, shut up. Needless to say, we're not together, but that's not the reason why. But um, with this whole, like, a man has to be financially stable, I feel like, first off, you got to know who you're dealing with. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. everyone don't care about finances. Right. Um, mm-hmm. But secondly, secondly, you can't come to the table asking for things that you don't have on your end. Like, I can't expect to ask for a man that's making six figures and I'm not making six figures. Like, you got to be right on your side before you start having all these expectations. And I just feel like it is it's like, I can't expect, if I had kids, I can't expect to ask for somebody, ask for, to date someone that don't have kids and I have kids. Like, mm. To me, that's that's off, and that you know, everyone have their own you know opinion about it. But I feel like at the end of the day, I'm not going. If I'm feeling you and we dating, and I know you're working towards something and you're progressing towards something, mm-hmm. we gonna work and progress together. But I'm Amen. not. Going to go, oh, I'm this is the third time. Because you're not making X amount of money. Like at the end of the day, I've been through stuff where I realize money come and go. Job come and go. Like you can be at a job and get laid off, and your bag is stopped, and you got to figure out what the fuck you gonna do next. Man. So, mm-hmm. For the people that feel like, oh, I can't be with him because his bag not there, or oh, like I, I at the end of the day, that's not me. <laughs> that's not me. So I'm like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm willing to work. Like if I know you actually working towards something now. On the other end, if you a bum ass nigga and you ain't really about <laughs> so don't get it twisted. Don't, mm-hmm. If you a bum ass nigga and you ain't really about nothing and you ain't trying to, you know, progress, you ain't got no ambition, you ain't trying to, you know, figure out your next move, I can't fuck with you. I just I can't. Or Agreed. if you one of those, you always want me to cash out, like, oh baby, I need this, baby. I don't mind helping out when you going through stuff and I know we rock solid. 
But if you one of those bum ass niggas where you always ask me, can you bring me some food? Or can you loan me? Can you spot me $40? Yeah, niggas do the it's not the 40. No, not the 40. 40, bro. <laughs> Not the forty dollars. I, I I can't do it. I can't. So, but you know what? Um, hold on real quick, cause I think it's about to end. So I'm gonna call you guys commercial. right back, and let's we're about to go to commercial real quick, okay? Okay. Oh my gosh, bro. <laughs> they ain't got it bumping. Hey. <laughs> And we back. And we're back. Um, yeah. So I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the commercial break. But um, <laughs> yeah, we're back. <laughs> they know we on Zoom, nigga. We know you on Zoom. We know your forty minutes passed. Mm-hmm. I do that shit too. But uh, uh I, like, I think we were about to go in too, though. Yeah, I, I like uh, Ashley's answer on that one, man. Yeah, that, that was a good perspective. Yeah, I, I, um, I think that's kind of the lines of where I, I find myself when it comes to just that subject in particular. Like, there's nothing wrong, you know. I'm all for, you know, treating your lady right. You know what I'm saying? If you go out, you pay for it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get her something nice, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with spoiling your your lady. That's, I think that's dope. That's cool. She your queen, and she for you. What's wrong with that. But I think the issue comes into people wanting that off real before, you know what I'm saying, you even get to know that person. Like, you already have to have this in order to mess with me, you know what I'm saying? And it's one of those things where on the post it's said, you know, you got to pay for it. Like, you know, she's the prize, so you got to pay for it. But I think it kind of gets left out of the conversation that men are prizes too. You feel me? And we deserve, you know, to be able to, you know, receive some appreciation as well. It ain't just oh, I'm only going after you and that's it. Yeah, it I should be cater too. Yeah, it should be yeah. like, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, I, I like I the way agree. he moves. I like the way he presents himself. I like his ambition. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me show him I'm interested as well. Let me show him how much I care. You feel me? So it's it should be a two way street. It shouldn't just be, oh, this is how it is and this is what y'all should do. And there was a lot of one-sided conversations that was being had just from this topic. Like, oh yeah, you know, preach girl, you know what I'm saying? That's how it should be. All you broke niggas, blah, 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 blah. And it's like, it's like, yo, I think you're missing the whole point because that's just one-sided. Like, if you ain't bringing Mm -hmm. nothing to the table, why the hell should I bring something? You feel me? Like, what are you bringing to this situation because I'm not only just trying to pursue you, you know what I'm saying? It should be something like each other. Yeah, we're trying to pursue each other. And if if it's just one sided, then shit, I keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? I see you guys. And that's what I was about to hit on. Like people gotta also make sure that they're dating someone where it's reciprocal. Like both parties want to actually be with each Mm -hmm. other. It's one sided, it ain't gonna work. It's just It's it's not when you're trying to, you know, put your best foot forward for somebody that really ain't rocking with you like that, you're wasting your time and vice mm. versa. And then I also think the other part is it like everyone, I think love language, the, the word for it now that we have is love language, but I think everyone have to know their partner's love language and what actually makes them, you know, gratitude. For some people, it is buying gifts. It is, you mm-hmm. know, the dates and monetary, but mm-hmm. everyone's not like that. Some people like, you know, the affirmation or, you know, constantly telling you, oh my gosh, you're so handsome or you're beautiful. You know, that what I call stroking that ego. Some yeah. people like time. Yeah. I love language is time. I love for the people that I'm interested in to spend time with me. And we mm-hmm. ain't even gotta be on some spending money, like us just being in the same proximity with each other. So. I think those are very two very important things when it comes to dating is to make sure that one, y'all both feeling each other, y'all both on the same page, and then two, y'all actually understand and you're not just doing things, you know, off the cup. Cause right. you buy me all type of gifts and I really I'm appreciative. I'm gonna say thank you, but I really care about more about spending time with you. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. It's like how how can you get to know a person if you're already talking about what the what's in their pocket? 
You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like if that's if that's the first thing, that I mean you're not really in it for a relationship because most yeah. people that you meet, you yeah, <laughs> she and you gonna be starving one. with me, boy. Yeah, yeah in, in I'm, in. I'm talking about like niggas can't even. I thought the whole idea of getting to meet somebody, like as far as trying to figure out what your you know status is and what are you looking for. You know what I'm saying? Are we looking to just be cool, or are we looking to build something that's gonna turn into a long lasting relationship and mm-hmm. in those situations you're trying to get to know a person's ideologies their mindsets mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying like what are what are their goals you know what, mm-hmm. what do they see themselves in 10 15 20 years you know what I'm saying you're trying to get that you're trying to depict that from you know all the interactions with them so I didn't think it was oh where you work at how much money you got because you could be out of this gonna be a millionaire one day you know what i'm saying not saying everybody's gonna be one but he's probably how about now because you up right yeah now. you know what i'm saying like because i'm up right now you hella yeah. stuck you know but i'm like, hitting that <laughs> you're probably i mean obama wasn't you know the president mm-hmm. when michelle was with him i'm mm-hmm. pretty sure he was like very driven and you know i'm sure he had a, a bunch of ideas and where he wanted to mm-hmm. go and where he wanted to be and she you know, stuck with him and was just that, yeah, I see Michelle up there, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. she was that that counterpart, you know what I'm saying, that that fit him. You mm-hmm. know, that's, that's what you should look for. You should look for a partner that's, um, you can see yourself with when there's no more sex, you know what I'm saying? There's no more, you know, certain, you know, when when those Looks have body away. parts that change, you know what I'm saying? They and with time. They in the ball, you know. Yeah, like, yeah. That bubble booty and a drop. It's great. Mm-hmm. It's like bags yeah. under the eyes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like I'm talking about just just with somebody just because you just love that energy, who they are, their soul is just it's it's matched and linked to you. You know what I'm saying? Like a, it's no amount of money you can put on having mm-hmm. a, a love for somebody. You know what I'm saying? So I just wish I I think I feel like our generation is really lost, but that's without going saying much but um you know and, and I think it also has to deal with social media like I yeah it is or this digital area of era era of everyone wanting to be seen and showing uh-huh. off um and i feel like that play now, at the end of the day yes you should be the prize possession but i feel like on both ends like i'm a prize possession you're a prize possession we, we yeah yeah. And I, I feel like what, what my saying is, uh, what's understood doesn't need to be explained. Come on, mm-hmm. now. yes. You know, so my Thanks. queen knows she's my queen. I treat her like my queen and mm-hmm. vice versa. You know what I'm saying? Because we also have to feel appreciated as well. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So just doing, doing, doing doesn't necessarily mean you appreciate it. It just means you, you know, you're taking care of necessities. You know what I'm saying? You're just for the meantime. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But to to feel appreciated means somebody winning, you know, she it ain't even necessarily just money, but you go and put something together because I told you something was my favorite from back in the day when we was dating or something. You never that's, forgot. That's right there. That's shit. yeah. That hit that hit different. That hit different, bro. Oh, <gasps> you remember those for my yeah, like bro for days? for a dude, cause for for most men it's hard to open up. Yeah. But that's right though. <laughs> she, mm. but to open up and for someone to really remember and to, like to open up it means you trust that person for me to trust you it means I really feel secure with you and then to, to to have that title of security then a woman goes back and do something for you with that same information knowing how much you will love it, it it's just it's another it hit different it hits totally different and it makes you want to do more it makes you want to you know, not just spoil with things. It makes you want to mm-hmm. spoil with love and, and time and, and, and so make memories. More. Yeah. Make, make good memories. You know? <laughs> some, actually, just yeah. having a good time over there. Huh? <laughs> just thinking about <laughs> making notes. Well, uh, hey, it's, it's, yeah. I just wanted to get your opinion on that. I wanted to get a woman's perspective. See, see, uh, uh, and you're level headed. I'll say that there's some toxic individuals that would have uh, just went the, the complete oh, she opposite. Was right. She was yeah, right, she was completely right. right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't see nothing wrong. Yeah, all you broke niggas, 
Yeah, you, if you ain't making six figures, you ain't fucking with me. And they say that. <laughs> but yeah, I know. Like, okay. Because I, I feel like I'm a very unbiased person. I feel like the people that have that, that mind frame, like, oh, I have to be taken care of, mm-hmm. that's probably what they experience also. They probably True. experience their mom being taken care of their dad. Or kind of like me talking about my ex. I know whoever he end up with, he's going to be that person where he feel like he have to pay for everything, pay the mm-hmm. bill or whatnot. And like I said, at the end of the day, I can understand people having that mindset. That's just not my mindset. Mm-hmm. I feel like whoever I end up with, we are going to be, you know, teammates, partners. Now, if you want to pay all the bills, that's cool. You pay all the bills. I ain't going to stop you. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I'm not going to force that on yeah, yeah. My, my lover. That's our decision that, hey, you're going to pay all the bills or, hey, you're going to cover the mortgage and I, you know, do the small bills like the lights and cable and all that. But I'm cool with that. But, you know, yeah. you got to do what you stupid, Ross. Ross, don't fall in love now. He is. I see the tear. Man, no, nah, see that. That's 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 how it's rolling my household. Like it's to a point now. Like my wife just handles all the finances. Like mm-hmm. it don't even matter, bro. Like nothing. Like, when even I tell you, it don't matter so much. All. Like I'll just randomly pick a card and we'll just pay for something. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it's it's not even. Oh, you pay for this. You pay. It's just yeah, yeah. What's need to be done needs to be done. Like, I'll take care of this. I'll do that. If you want to chip in here, cool. Do your part. You know, it's it's not even, we're not even psychologically like, mm-hmm. you pay this, you pay that. You, we just, wherever the money is and the money flows, because we share bank accounts as well. Yeah. You just pay that shit before it gets cut <laughs> off. <laughs> like, that's, 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 real. Mm-hmm. Real that's how it should be. And then back in the day, I feel like also maybe they have that old school mentality where back in the day, men did pay for everything. But mm-hmm. at the same time, men were the only ones that could actually get the jobs and women stayed at home. And times mm-hmm. are different. True. So it's just, you just have to take a lot of things into perspective when you have a mindset like that. You bring like, up a good point, actually. We're not in the mm-hmm. 1940s where I had to stay at home and cook for the kids. and. I mean... Now you can stay at home and have OnlyFans. <laughs> no. That's See, the perfect too, segue. Too soon. Too soon. You can stay wow. home and have an OnlyFans. Like, for real, for real. Like, Homie just told me that a chick <laughs> makes over $6,000 a month for showing her feet. Show her feet? Her feet. You want to know what's funny? It's the same person that look made at that Ashley. Tweet. Ashley. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Yes, we're Ashley. gonna see her little Instagram handle. Oh. Look at, check my bio. Nah, That's you know, childish. if I was to make an only OnlyFans, oh, not the hypotheticals. Oh, she already thought about it. <laughs> no, you said I how much? Get it out. Six thousand. You said 6, just for feet. Wait, okay. So, sure? so what about knees? Hey, oh. knees work. Are they knees cute? work? My feet not really cute. <laughs> yeah, think about she it. gonna make uh fifteen hundred. <laughs> <laughs> Someone gonna type up, man. I'll do things to them uh, feet, man. You don't even know. But if I was to make one, I would not put it on my social media. I would probably have like a fake account or something. I would not put it on. <laughs> You got to show your face so they know who they subscribe know, right? it to. <laughs> that's crazy, bro. Like, <laughs> this is that's, the day that's and really age, your bro. career now. Like, just... Yeah, women women out here with the OnlyFans. And, and they, they got subscribing. Y'all, it's some men on there, too. I ain't been on I... there, but it's people that I follow that, you know, they post their little picture and they be like, catch me on OnlyFans. And I be like, oh, you on OnlyFans? But you know what? At the end of the day, you too bad. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> awkward, bro. It's it's just awkward, you know. I can I I told him earlier, man. It's like I couldn't date a chick that get, just has an OnlyFans. Like we we be cool, whatever. We we smash, whatever. Oh yeah, like, nah. 
like mm-hmm. my girlfriend, like but someone. I don't but know why if not? I could do that because look, just, she not she not I, she's not fucking anyone. Like she's I know, but she's you. showing your the goods that only you should be seeing to the world. <laughs> but what if she's showing the feet? She like, for the streets. What if, what if uh? <laughs> What if she, like y'all go like pretty much the things that she's posting on OnlyFans? It's like her in a bikini and that stuff that people would see on the beach. Ashley, she from the streets. She for the streets. <laughs> I just I don't know. Me personally, I don't know if I could do that, but that's just because I'm gonna feel some type of way. Just it's like damn, bro, a nigga's really beating off to my girl, bro. <laughs> This is kind of weird, my guy. Oh but yeah, I, is that that purple lavender bikini? Oh. And then you know they can they can send request and message and you know boys is boys is weird, bro. Boys but get on some. What mm-hmm. you meet a person and right off the back, y'all hitting it off good, mm-hmm. and then like three Damn. months down the line, or months six months down the line, you find out she got an OnlyFans. Are you going? Ah. Yeah. I knew that mm-hmm. Xbox came out of nowhere. She for the streets. Once I for the streets. That. Hey, look. Once for the streets, always for the streets. But wait, okay, what if she's doing the feet? If she's doing the feet, she's still for the streets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she for the streets. <laughs> she for the streets. She's walking the on them streets. But why is she for the streets? I feel like if you're not mm-hmm. <laughs> because psychologically you're creating a fan base of horny niggas that you know horny are, deviants yeah like you know the the root of only fans so i just mm-hmm. can't structure my mind around having okay. somebody famous for having cute feet what if she lost her <laughs> during the pandemic mm-hmm. and she wasn't trying to like go work at like McDonald's or her Walmart. unemployment plan extra for people who lose their job during <laughs> the pandemic. It ain't giving food stamps, right? And uh you got a lot of up and they giving twelve hundred a month uh per person plus but for the kids. Nah, bro, they want the six K for Oh, the you people. said they want the six K, bro. You don't have to make OnlyFans. You wanna <laughs> make OnlyFans. I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to for y'all, but right. <laughs> hey look, no, nah, you're right, they can do it. it. Yeah, <laughs> but in my house, you for the streets. You out? I don't think they for the streets. I feel like I'm, I'm gonna respect you. Okay, they for the sidewalk. All right. <laughs> I want to know why you're doing it though. Like that's me. Now, if I meet someone, let's say they a guy. Cause if like you, guy, you like, meet a guy doing the OnlyFans. Hey, I don't know, bro. No, I follow people that guys? Are, are guys. Yes, that's weird. That and you know, majority of guys are going to their OnlyFans, right? <laughs> Which is why it's weird it's because weird. other niggas is looking at you and what? And they beating up to you. So, 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 ask your homies. I don't know how close you are to them, but like for them, if dudes are telling them to do certain things, do they do it? Oh, so it's OnlyFans like a. It's for everybody. It's for the streets. It's, it's for everybody. <laughs> everybody. Well, no. Like, is it like a live? Like, you can like post. Your you can thing. go live. You can. They can request stuff. Know. They can. They can message you. It's like Instagram, except explicit. Oh. <laughs> That's it. Okay. Yeah. They can. You can interact with people and all this other stuff. You can give tips. Like, bruh, it's niggas literally just. Well, you, you be on OnlyFans. Yeah, he got all the info, bro. You- yeah. Like, I know all the info, man. You got a, uh, the free subscription <laughs> for seven days. <laughs> nah, they don't do no free sub- Niggas gonna he get their coins. Nah, but uh, cause you funny. know recently they the had info, the leak. Though. Recently they had that leak. Uh, oh, OnlyFans had that leak. big like a lot of people's accounts got leaked everywhere. And so, that's who's to say that that's not gonna happen again because it can oh. most certainly happen again. So much fun. And then <laughs> and then boys I seen somebody Comment on Chisel down and shout out to Chisel. Mm-hmm. Someone said, uh, I actually know we made a little a uh, little joke on the uh, Beyonce and uh Meg Meg Stallion making the Stallion video. It was like if if Beyonce started OnlyFans, oh, how yeah, many of you niggas would sign up? And then nigga Chisel said, 
I'm not gonna sign up. I'm gonna just have my plug screenshot everything <laughs> and send it. <laughs> that that but that would happen. You know, anything she do, like anything mm. Drake do, Nicki Minaj do, if they're doing oh, something yeah. on a paid platform, people are going to screenshot that and put that shit on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And social media. So, so that's and that's another thing. It's just it's just once once something's on the internet, it's on that bitch. It's gone. And, it's there, you know what I'm saying? So I get what Ashley's saying. Like she's not doing nothing. She's not, you know, putting herself out there yeah. too explicitly. She ain't of fucking on camera. But at the same time, it's just like it's not for me. There are some people. Okay, question. There. Not to mm-hmm. cut you off. Would would you allow your daughter to do that? Mm. Would you be okay with it? Like if she was of age, would you be okay mm-hmm. with your daughter doing that? If she and told it's just you. feet. <laughs> I would because she's okay. not actually having sex I would actually be okay with my daughter being a stripper but I need to know why you're doing it <laughs> look at y'all faces I need to know why you're doing it and I need you to be the best stripper ever you don't, and you don't need to be in the hole in the wall you don't need to be in the foxies oh you cool you gonna be a cool cool mom no, I'm not like forcing it like Hey baby, I'm about stripping. Yeah, but you ain't you ain't stopping it either. <laughs> Come on, baby. At the end of the day, I just feel like everyone gotta do what's best for them. And I need to know why. Just tell me why. And if you got a legit reason, like I'm trying to you know, run my bag up real quick and I wanna open up this and I'm not gonna be doing that and I'm not gonna be doing this, then I'm like Okay, and you stick like if, if she's a diamond, yes. Now if she's an ebony, no. Your ass ain't need to. Mm-mm. I mean, I feel like there's always a way to to create or get money or change your situation without necessarily having to sell cool. yourself. You know, because I will I will want my daughter to be the hardest. You know, like independent minded and like just never giving mm-hmm. up to make something happen. Then I feel like women that have the oh I'm gonna just go strip. It's like too many people fall back to that. You know what I'm saying? And like you kind of demonizing your characters because I don't want nobody to ever say my daughter is. You know, they talk to strippers crazy, and it's they like do. you're almost less not even of human on the human level. And I've actually heard a dude tell me that. Like he said, bro. I, when I go to strip clubs, I talk to them like nothing because any of them that's willing to just walk around and make it like that, I mean, you don't give a damn. And I can just talk to you however I want to. And I was like, damn. So I just <laughs> personally, it was, a, I had a moment. I was like, damn. That nigga said, this nigga in the strip club, titties and ass everywhere. Damn. Nah, because he was mind. like, I'll say, come here, B. And he said, he's like, come here, B, sit down. And I'm just like, but it's, it's, it's really, <laughs> you childish, Ross. I think that's that behavior, like at the hole in the wall strip clubs. Because if you think about it, like them, them strip clubs. Yeah, I've been to one of them high class ones. Them high class ones, like Malaya Michelle, they get respect. That's and I feel homie. like at the end of the day, it comes down to respecting, respect and no respect. <laughs> and know, I mean, she, mm, do she get respect? Huh? Do she get respect? Malaya, Malaya, what's that girl name? Malaya, it's Malaya. Malaya, <laughs> yeah, she did for the most part that I know of. Like in the stripper world, or like <laughs> she was like a diamond, like diamond, diamond got respect. If we think about it, you know that's fictional, yeah. right? I know, but but this <laughs> Malaya is like diamond, like she got respect. Whereas Ebony on the other end, she was trifling. I wouldn't say she was trifling. She was just young and dumb and falling behind the wrong ones. And even though that was a fictional story, that stuff really do happen, you know, in the real world and the strip world. So, full right. of the story, I feel like one, stripping should not get a bad rub because at the end of the day, it's entertainment. And a lot of things that they do in the strip club and they wear in the strip club, entertainers be wearing on stage with a little bit more with a little bit more like Cardi B, she be in tops in little bikini sets, Beyonce, Nicki Minaj, and we all love them. So how come these performers, 
<laughs> these artists, <laughs> how come they're getting respect, but not the ones that's pretty much doing the same thing, dancing in heels, a little bit more explicit because some some of the strip clubs you do have to you know show a little something. Exactly, something. or you got the little X, the tape but, but on you. you. Don't have to. You don't have to if you don't want to. But and you don't have to not wear nothing. I mean, what, Janae, uh, <laughs> Janae Monet? I mean, uh, Janelle? Yeah. Janelle Monet. Yeah, yeah, Janelle. She she was coming suited up with the tuxedo situation uh, in her shows and killing it mm-hmm. before the ass out, before the prince <laughs> type situation. Um, <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's I, I don't judge people. It's just what's not for me is not for me like it's not like i walk yeah. around like ah you a street bitch. you know what i'm saying like it, you got it, only fans you're disgrace yeah i no. never do that but when it's when it's a conversation of how i feel i'll speak my piece because you know i always want i really wish women were put on a pedestal and it's not women's fault i really wish a lot of men respected women more because women are our like we we should really hold women and have them like a pretty vessel like you know women are to be upholded and like looked upon you know what i'm saying like i really wish men just didn't have this egotistical mindset where it's like oh she's a woman i can treat her how the fuck i want to you know what i'm saying like Mm -hmm. i really wish men really did their part and you know we can always blame women for doing certain things but if you look at yourself for what you can do better and your gender for what you can do better okay now if all niggas start trying to do better towards women then you can't then there's nobody to blame no more but women. But if we not even mm-hmm. doing our part, we can't say women is just this, this, and that. She a hoe, she this. Because, for one, you don't know how she was raised. You don't know what type of nigga she dealt with. And mm-hmm. she has she's entitled to a reaction for dealing with an ain't shit nigga. Maybe she mm-hmm. has trust issues now. Just like, well, I'm going to just get what I can out of it. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I wish men could uphold women to how they should be treated and maybe we would get less city girls <laughs> you know what i'm saying and more you know you know what i'm saying you get me less city no nah, because you know city girls more michelle obama you know what i'm saying like maybe if you know the roles was you know treated better maybe City girls ain't gonna be there no more. You know, maybe they're gonna be out of town <laughs> girls now. You know? So you stupid, bro. Yeah, that was my my two cents and a half. Don't say nothing about the city girls. Are them your homies? <laughs> Let me find out, Ashley. Oh, that's 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 the, that's the crew. JT, even though Creature kind of came after me one day, but Creature, yeah. did she? Jesus Christ. Look, Damn. For y'all that don't know, Ashley a, a celebrity interviewer. Look, she got mad at me because I asked her in that um uh, what's the name of that video? Her and Cardi B and twerk. Yeah. I asked her if she was a white tiger or if she was a zebra. <laughs> and she was like, What did she say? I'm a white tiger, duh. And I'm like, No, 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 no. She said she was a zebra. Hell, I don't know. I can't remember. But anywho, she got mad at me for Who was that on? Uh Instagram. Oh wow! Um, That's okay. You got a response though. <laughs> you should have did what most people do. I'm just kidding. I'm one of your biggest fans. Mm-hmm. Hell no! I was like, excuse me for not knowing what stripes they painted on you. Right. Yeah. Maybe you was the wrong color. <laughs> nah. Uh, <laughs> she yeah, fired off on her ass. Well, I still feel pretty sure. What's good, boo? <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> this is pretty interesting. We, nah, this, this was uh, pretty interesting. Um, we learned new things. Mm-hmm. Um, we got to make sure Ashley don't have an OnlyFans because she sounded like she already made one. Yeah, no, no, no. she all over there doing the hair. She about to go record yeah, right now. <laughs> light set up and everything. As soon as Look. I get off this, <laughs> I'm getting on this. Look, you said feed, huh? I saw, I saw one girl post, uh, or maybe I don't know. She was like, she made $60,000 and she was able to buy her house. Or she, I don't know if it was $60,000, but she was able to buy a house from Only OnlyFans. Mm-hmm. I was like, so what all you got to do? <laughs> oh, no, they getting paid out. Like, it's no joke. Boys is getting, you get like 200, 200 subscribers, charge them 30 a month, 6K. Boom. Easy money. Honestly, 
That's crazy. I ain't mad at it. You got an OnlyFans? Because I saw one lady that I was surprised that had one, and I was like... Is an old lady? I'm not going to say nothing. I'm not saying anything, because I don't and want... Look, I, I seen... Want, you don't want what? I don't want nobody coming for me. I seen an old white lady with an OnlyFans page, and we was on Twitter, and somebody had retweeted something, and it was this old lady with, with her breasts in her hands doing like this and i'm like bro ross oh like it's this type of situation and yeah she 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 go live and she's 68 i think 68 <laughs> fuck it i ain't about to spend my social security fuck this man. that's crazy i'm bro. about to go ahead and make a bag off these young young whippersnappers that's crazy to me she was around when segregation was a thing. Right. <laughs> so I wouldn't even feel comfortable watching that shit. You want me to move to the back of the bus so you can handle this pussy? Did you hear this nigga? What'd he say? Nothing. No. Nothing. I said, you want me to move to the back of the bus so you can handle this pussy? <laughs> I gotta, yeah. You gotta chill. <laughs> Rosa, I ain't got nothing to do with this conversation. Me neither, look, me neither, Rosa. That's Ross. That's all Ross. What? That's crazy. But did y'all see? There's a YouTuber. I think his name is like K Moore or K. I don't know. And his girlfriend, the ex girlfriend, like apparently he broke up with the. Oh, like, I heard about that. Oh, I've seen that. K Moore the Great or something like yeah. that, or the Goat. Yeah, and the roommate posted the video. Yeah. Now, I was trying to do my little research, you know, because I'll be... Mm -hmm. And I honestly feel like that shit was fake. It I probably was. Like, I didn't shit. even put that much time into it, but if he on YouTube... Yeah, and it's on everybody's... It's like on both of their pages. Yeah, it's fake. <laughs> the, girl, there you go. the roommate, he opens the door right when a girl is knocking. Like, first off, if I'm sitting right here, my door right there, I'm not about to open that door in no two seconds, like as you're as you're knocking. Right. So right when I seen that, I was like, this shit is fake. And like, if he a real homie, he he would never one of the real homies will never post no serious shit going on between me and my girl. Like whether yeah. we both YouTubers or we both entertainers, everything ain't for the web or mm -hmm. for the gram. You know what I'm saying? So probably uh, fake. Get them yeah. views. Yeah, that's that's a little. I, I've seen a lot of YouTubers where you think shit is real and they actually playing off a, a little series, and I'm just like, damn, bro, like now, YouTube is turning into a reality show. Because I feel like when I saw that, to me, that was whack. And if I was to follow them, that would that would be something that would make me unfollow them because you're trying to paint this picture as this is a serious this is a serious situation, and my roommate wrong for this and da 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 da. But in reality, y'all are acting. And yeah. this shit is, is fake. Yeah, but I think I, I would unfollow it. From a business standpoint, I know you're trying to get more views, and the more views you get, the bigger the check. Mm -hmm. too. So I understand on the business side, but as a fan, I'm like, I can't fuck with that. Like, you playing with people' intelligence, and I ain't for it. Yeah, so, nah, you're you're absolutely right. I mean, that's one of the hardest things. I mean, even being YouTubers, <laughs> crazy. Um, we have <laughs> that. <laughs> we have that tough decision to make uh, at the beginning too like should we fake some pranks or something like that you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and I was really like I just I can't you know what I'm saying? even if I'm trying to do it yeah. unless I'm acting out a skit like it's hard for me to fake fake <laughs> you know what I'm saying so um, it's for whoever want, I mean cause a lot of kids get sucked into it like that's really who it be for, but to me, yeah, it's yeah, like the young audience. Yeah, it's like it's just a lot of drama, and people love drama, and I just kind of want to get away from drama. I'm trying to really focus more on positive and you know creative, you know, and drama as in mess type mm -hmm. shit. Because that's what that was. That's all that was. That was a portrayal of, oh, let me sneak up here. They arguing. They going back and forth. Oh, she made her OnlyFans. He don't like that shit. They broke up. So bam, now I get to upload this. He gonna uh, do a reaction to the video. 
talking about what really happened and then he mad at the dude now he gotta see me it's, it's just it's just like so drama full yeah it's like just, you gotta you gotta understand these niggas is editing this shit too yeah so like, bro you <laughs> you know what i'm saying like I'm, I'm, oh this I'm gonna beef, kill him yeah if i'm beefing like the fuck i'm gonna talk to you about that shit like, what the fuck you posting that shit for yeah. i'm not gonna record that shit and that's another vital point these niggas are editing a response to a homies that i got his number just so the world can see what how this is folding unfolding mm-hmm. like and you know i get like again from a business point cool but it's like mm, i just it's not for me you know yeah. that's that's all i can say i'm not gonna judge it get your bag get your money i'm not gonna click on it so what does it mean yeah yeah, you yeah know, ain't, so. ain't got nothing to do with your boy <clears throat> ain't got nothing to do with your boy uh, nah. this is uh um what you was about to say no nah, i was about, just about to say uh this this was a, a nice little dynamic here, man. I it was yeah. nice to have you on here, Ashley, to give you it your surely was. multiple multiple takes on different things. We appreciate you it appreciate you coming by. My spiciness, I will come through. <laughs> Stick it said my spiciness. Spice. Next thing we know, I bring we'll be on OnlyFans. Yeah. What? Next <laughs> thing we know, she's gonna be on OnlyFans, man. I don't know about that. That's cool. She See? put the glasses on. <laughs> Niggas into glasses. They like that shit. They they, like you that. found your niche. You know what? They really are. I had one person be like, come here, you little sexy nerd. I was like, what the fuck? Hey, you can Niggas do some nerd is, cosplay, man. Like, look, niggas is horny right now, so you better get you a little <laughs> school outfit. <laughs> yeah, get you a school outfit, bro. And a backpack. I ain't trying to do nothing. I don't want nobody I want to be with, dude. So I, I can't be on the OnlyFans if I don't want somebody I want to date, you know, on that house. So, <laughs> no. Because I can if I run into somebody I, I'm actually feeling, they tell me, hey, I'm on OnlyFans. You want to, you doing what? Like, me. no. I'll give you a free week. Wow, she's childish. Yeah. No. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. That's wow. Wow. This that's is, insane. They, what is this again? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I know not to follow you because yeah, you're yeah, gross. Yeah, yeah. Let me put this down. <laughs> I've seen people starting to do that now on Instagram. Like, what? they starting to post explicit things and they, they, they do it to their close friends. Oh, wow. Like, for real? Or maybe I'm popping some new shit out there. Damn, you know. popping, you popping Hoping some I'll new shit. out to the world. Like, you know, on Instagram, like on your stories, mm-hmm. uh, excuse me, stories, Um, you can put or select close friends. Mm-hmm. So only your close friends will see certain posts. Oh. So some people are starting to put like certain pictures and stuff like that to their close friends only. Wow. They get, and I've seen girls getting the like, bags by any means necessary. Because you know how girls do like, well, oh, we best friends. on Snapchat anyway. Yeah, the well, premium yeah. Snapchats. Yeah, yes. honestly, OnlyFans just took this idea from Snapchat. When you think about it. But they getting the back for it. They didn't reinvent the wheel. Yeah, they, they, they just expounded that motherfucker to but all these simps. <laughs> can't wait to what? You, yeah, because I'm like, bro, this there's free sites everywhere. It's like crazy sites, and you're paying for Anywho, hey, this was a dope podcast. Um, I enjoyed the conversations and we enjoyed having our <laughs> special guest Ashley join. Wow. Um, Ash Ash Low. Low. Right, my bad. I mean it's just it's two too letters. They already know. It's two letters yeah. from yeah. <laughs> they already know. They know my government name. They're gonna type Ash in Ash Low. Actually it Ashley says it only... when you when she talks. Know, it says it. Like, Damn they got your the last name too. They're gonna type in their own oh, fancy you pop they up. Yeah, no, nah, they are. They gonna find you. They're gonna get you. <laughs> but nah, um, you. this is a dope episode, man. Episode twenty one. Um, and yeah, man, I guess we'll tune in and catch you guys next time. Follow Ashley on all her social, Ashlo, on all her social medias, <laughs> and uh, they'll be linked below. But uh, appreciate yep. y'all for joining. And we out this piece. Peace from the Middle East. Peace.